I'm going to show you how our IOPS viewer works. The first line is our server IP address, and then the second is your username and password. Enable VPN connections is, um, you have to check this uh, when you are using it online over the internet. But since I'm in my office, so I don't need the VPN. Now, um, on the le left hand side, uh, I have four boxes. Um, connected the action three uh, one of the one in our showroom we purposely take it offline so we can see it's turned red means the unit is offline uh, whatever you show green means it's online um, by looking at this you can see um, the location of the unit like gps location of the unit the temperature of the unit the ip edges of the unit and on this side you can see the license plate capture now this is object detection of the overview camera on our previous version we capture overview only when we read the license plates but on this version the object detection work independently on the overview camera so you still capture the vehicle even though the license there's no license plate on the vehicles Yeah, but, um, and I'm going to show you uh, one thing about the red list and the green list. Um, I'm going to show you one of the devices that we use. We call the gate solo. We, we, we have a solo camera on our gate. And I key in the UPS um, number and also the FedEx. So when I do a search, I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to show anything that's on the green list. Now that's our UPS uh, daily driver. Um, he comes and because we put the, his plate number on the list, so he open up the gate for us. Um, so we, I, as soon as he shows up, the gate is open for him. Um, I'm going to uncheck the other cameras. I'm just going to show you the camera that we use as an overview for the license plate capture. Um, we can do uh, object detections, like I type in person. It will um, give you the day and time when any person show up uh, in front of the camera. Um, I click on it, it will play a small video, like maybe a few seconds before, and then maybe one or two seconds after. Um, the video stream is actually pulled from a DVR or NVR. Um, the snapshot is saved to a hard drive that on our system, but the video is saved on an NVR DVR. And now I can type in say car. And it will show you, you know, cars that you know being detected from the overview camera. So even if the car doesn't have a license plate that we couldn't get the plates, we we're still able to you know, recognize it as a car and give you the video.